Are kids too clean for their own good? Do they in fact need dirt and germs to grow up healthy? As standards of hygiene rise in developed countries, so does the incidence of immune-related diseases such as type 1 diabetes. A theory known as the hygiene hypothesis claims there's a link between the two. The immune system is programmed during the first years of life. If you in that period have a uh, a lack of infections or too few infections, that will then uh, affect uh, how uh, the immune system starts to work. Finland is an ideal place to test the hygiene hypothesis. It has the highest incidence in the world of type 1 diabetes, a disease caused when the immune system malfunctions and kills the cells that produce insulin. But just across the border in Russian Karelia, the incidence of the disease is six times lower than it is in Finland. At the Biomedicum Center in Helsinki, the European project Diabimmune aims to find out what it is that is making the difference by comparing the lifestyles of children in three countries, Finland, Russian Karelia and Estonia. We are working in what we call a living laboratory. Russian Karelia uh, has a low standard of living, a relatively low standard of hygiene. Estonia is a country in rapid transition and Finland uh, represents in this context uh, a country with a high standard of living and a high standard of hygiene. Anna Karpinen is one of the children participating in Finland. We had to write down everything that she ate for three days that was both at home and also in the kindergarten. And then uh, when we went to hospital, they took some blood examples the children are given a battery of different tests to try to identify which bacteria are necessary for the immune system to develop normally. They could be almost anywhere, in food, in the home environment, through contact with nature and animals. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. But after three years of studying nearly 2,000 children in each of the countries involved, the project has collected a huge number of samples. The challenge now is to analyse the data and find the needle. If we can confirm the hygiene hypothesis uh, and if we could identify a specific uh, bacteria, uh, then uh, that would definitely provide a possibility uh, to uh, uh, then uh, give such bacteria in a safe form, uh, at least to risk individuals, perhaps to the whole population. <laughs> 